good morning. What a beautiful, beautiful morning, isn't it? Great, great. We're so, so very happy to have you with us today uh, to participate in this 250th uh, race. Most of you, or hopefully you know, that we've been celebrating the 250th anniversary since January in the town of Northborough, and we will continue throughout the year. You should have a uh, an event schedule in your bag. Please pay attention and come out and we ask that you continue to support us. I as well would like to thank Kathy and her committee as well as the members of the 250th uh, committee who are, are here helping us as well. Thank you so much. We had a gorgeous day. Please enjoy, be safe, and have fun. Thank you so very much. We really appreciate the support. They ended up picking a route which is really the heart of the history of North Pro. So um, as you run down Church Street, you're going to run into the local historic district which has the Unitarian Church and the graveyard. I know you won't do it today, but at some point take a walk through the graveyard and look at all the historic uh, markers in there. As you go down Whitney Street, Whitney Street was actually uh, the center of commerce at one point back in the late 1600s. The houses on the left were built by rich businessmen, and on the right where there's condos now were where they had their mills and their factories. Um, as you cross over to uh, the brook, Howard Brook, that's the site of the first Europeans mill in the town around the late 1600s. There's a marker there, but we won't be stopping to read it today. Um, after that is the Whitney Parsonage, which is our newest historic district. Uh, Peter Whitney was the second minister in town. Um, he was very pro-American Revolution, uh, which is interesting because his father was a Tory. He hung around with people like uh, John Adams and the second president of the United States and John Hancock. These are all in our little local history town here at North Bro. You'll take a left on Whitney on uh, Winter Street. Winter Street is all farmland in the old days, and though quite a few of the buildings on Whitney Street, they're all old farmhouses, and it's a very pretty, it's a very pretty street. Uh, that'll bring you to the one mile marker, which is really the highlight of the history of the town. There's only one other thing that I think is pretty important to me today. Uh, 43 years ago this week was the first time, I, was the last time I ran in a race. I'm not sure how this is going to work out today, so please wish me a little bit of luck that I can do this and not end up in the ambulance. Um, thank you. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rockets were clear The bones bursting in air Gave proof to the night that still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land 
Coast, I want to thank everyone for participating. We had a great road race. Hopefully you had a little fun out on the course as well. And uh, I saw some really interesting finishes, so I, I'm really proud of the runners. Uh, you ran the whole race and definitely worthwhile. And now comes the part that we all wait for, and uh, I will name our top female finisher. And that's Caitlin Desio. Caitlin. Fantastic. Great race. And our top male racer was Tony Fieramark. He's still running. Look at this. Great race. Once again, thank you all for participating. We were all winners, but the weather even won today.